Hi, welcome back to Connecting Our Creativity. I'm Alex, and today we're going to be making coffee filter flowers. In order to make these flowers, you need a few materials. Um, we'll need at least three coffee filters, the kind with the ruffles, not the cone, some florist tape, a pencil, a pair of scissors, all the markers that you got in your kit, a kebab stick, and a cup for water. All right, let's get started. So the first step of the process is to take one of your coffee filters, and we're going to start by making petals. So in order to make the first layer of petals, you want to make them big. And you, we see that it ha the coffee filter has a ring on the inside. So you're going to start your petal right at the ring and go all the way up to the top and back down again, like so, until you have petals that look like this. And we're going to go all the way around. until we have something that looks like this. And then we're going to take our next coffee filter and we're going to do the same thing, except this time the petals will be half in the ring. So it'll be a lot like this. So they're halfway through the ring all the way around. until you end up with something like this. And then we're going to take our last one, and this time with the center ring, we're going to make our petal, the top of our petals right along that edge, like so. All the way around. Until we end up with something like this. is we want to take our three coffee filters and we can start with the smallest one and I recommend just cutting off the excess around um, before you cut in between the petals because it makes it a little bit easier that way. Like this and now we're just going to cut in between the petals. So here's our first layer. It's completely cut out. And then we'll move on to our second layer. Again, I'm just gonna cut off the excess around and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut in between the petals. So we have our second row done, and now we're on to our third. And it doesn't matter if the petals are um, not totally symmetrical or perfect or anything like that because petals come in all different shapes and sizes. So I'll just make it look a little bit more real. All right, 
think that's our last one. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our kebab stick, like so, and our um, and our flower petals, and we're going to make sure that the graphite side, the ones with the pencil marks, are upside down. So you want this side up on all of them, and you kind of just stack them one on top of another, like this. And I like to do it so that they're offset and you can see the petals underneath, but you can do it however way you like. It's really up to you. And then we're gonna take our kebab stick and we're gonna put it right in the middle of our flower stack. And we're just gonna push a hole right through them. So it should look like this. And then take them right back out. Okay, now you're gonna to wanna to take a piece of paper or any type of material to keep from making a mess with the markers. And we're going to go ahead and take any um, of your flower pieces and any color that you would like. I'm gonna go with green this time. Um, I really like green my favorite color. And what we're going to do is we're going to line the edges of the flower petals like so with the color of your choosing. And we're going to do that for all of them. And it doesn't have to be perfectly straight or like super neat. Um, we're going to bleed this ink later. Um, you just want to make sure that it's pretty saturated with the color of your choosing. until we get something that looks like this. And we're gonna do this with all the flower sets. So there's one, on to the next one. Same situation, just outline the edges with the color of your choosing. And you can even do different colors if you'd like. Get creative. All right, here's my second flower petal. On to the last one. Now, if you notice that your marker is running a little bit dry, it's okay. You can just dip it, this part, in the water a little bit, and it'll kind of freshen up the ink a little. Alrighty, here's my last flower petal. Now, I like to take some yellow and kind of just make like a center of the flower. Like this. And I'm going to do that for all of these. And 
And for extra detail, I like to take a little bit of the orange and just kind of dot it like this. On all the flower petals. So now we're going to start dipping our flowers. So you're going to take your bowl of water and one of your flower petals and quickly dip it into the water. And then just set it down to dry. And we're going to be doing that with all of the flowers. So dip it quickly and then set it down quickly to dry. And with our last one. And set it down. Now these should take about 15 minutes to dry. Um, or if you're impatient like me, you can just go ahead and get your hair dryer and dry them real quick. Um, I will wait for these to dry and then I will meet you back here. Um, if you want, you can always pause button and go ahead and um, pause the video until your petals are dried and we can pick up from there. See you soon. Welcome back everyone. Our flower petals should be dry and the colors should have blended nicely together. So now we can start putting our flowers on our kebab stick. So you want to start with the biggest petal first on the bottom and then go ahead and put the medium one layered on top of it. And then our last one on top of that. And they should be nicely layered, just like this, on your kebab stick. And what we want to do is we want to grab the bottom of the flower, like so, just like this. Kind of want to pinch the bottom and make sure that all of the coffee filters are stacked nicely on each other. <clears throat> and then you want to take your florist tape and start wrapping the, the coffee filter where you had pinched it. Like so. And just continue with taping the flower all the way down if your kebab stick is not green like mine. So you can make it green with the florist tape. Like this. Now I'm gonna leave mine, but you can always go all the way down with the florist tape. And I'm just going to cut it off there and it sticks on itself so it shouldn't unravel. And then your coffee filter is going to look maybe a little bit messy. That's okay because you can go ahead and fan it out. However way you like it. All right. I think this one is done. All right, and here is our finished product. I hope you all enjoyed the tutorial, and I will see you next time for another Connecting with Creativity. Bye.